Okay, we want to find the second derivative of a set of parametric equations. Um, the first thing we need to do is find dy dx. Um, so dy dx is uh, dy dt. Um, divided by dx dt, which here would be g prime of t divided by f prime of t. So you're going to find f prime, you're going to find g prime, and then you're just going to divide them. You're going to simplify that as much as uh, humanly possible. Uh, the next thing we want to find is we actually want to find the second derivative, which is uh, using this crazy notation, this. And this is not as easy as people think. So um, keep in mind that this is a function of uh, t right here. Um, so to find this, we're going to be taking the derivative with respect to t. And the way that it works out, we're not so interested in mechanics right now because this is just kind of review, is um, we take the derivative with respect to t of dy dx, which you can see above um, from what dy dx looks like, might be a quotient rule situation there, um, which I feel bad for you if that happens. Um, and then we're going to divide that by dx dt. So it's a very simple process. It's kind of hard to remember to do it, and that's really where people get in trouble. So uh, let's take a look at one example, follow along, and hopefully never forget it. So here I go with my example. First thing I'm going to do is find uh, y prime, which I know is negative sine of t and then x prime, which is cosine of t. I find y prime first so that I am reminded to put it in the numerator here when I find dy dx. So I combine those to get um, dy dx is negative sine of t over cosine of t. And I'm going to do myself the favor of simplifying that to negative tangent of t. Okay, so next thing I'm going to do is find the second derivative. So that's this crazy notation. And the way I find that is I take the derivative of this with respect to t. So let me do that. Um, that's going to be, um, well, let me write it, I guess. Negative tangent of t. And then I'm going to divide by dx dt. And let me do that. So derivative of tangent is secant squared. So that's negative secant squared of t. And then dx dt I found up above here, which is cosine of t. Um, and then I guess it might be helpful for me to simplify that. So uh, in this particular example, that works out to 1 over cosine is secant. So that's actually negative secant cubed of t. And uh, that's a good example of finding the second derivative of parametric equations. So I hope you find that helpful.